Hello, my name is Shad Griffin, and uh, when most people think of uh, data mining or predictive analytics or machine learning models, they think hard. And that's true. I mean, modern algorithms, algorithms that are used today are very complicated. But building a machine learning model or building a predictive model doesn't have to be hard. Uh, with a tool like SPSS Modeler, you can actually derive a very complex statistical model with a few clicks, and you can deploy that complex statistical model into a production environment also with a few clicks. So today, I'm going to walk you through how to build a complicated statistical model in SPSS Modeler with a few clicks. So the first step, uh, the first thing you need if you want to build a uh, machine learning model is data. And the data in, in our use case comes from the insurance industry and it's just sitting on my hard drive uh, in, the, in a CSV file. But let's take a look at our data. So again, this is from an insurance company and they're trying to get a feeling for who's going to cancel their uh, insurance policy in the next 12 months. So the first variable we have in our data set is the amount of their current premium. So this is how much their premium is every year. The next field is their tenure in terms of months. So this is how many months this particular customer has been a customer. The third variable is churn, and this indicates whether or not that individual canceled in the previous year. So it's going to be zero if they did not cancel and one if they did cancel. This is what we're going to try to predict. This is our dependent variable. This is income, age and years, what, this is a binary variable, whether or not they have children. This is their length of residence, how long they've lived in their current home. Education. Uh, this is whether or not they own their home. It's a binary one zero, one zero variable. This is whether or not they have a college degree, again, a binary variable. And this is whether or not they have good credit, again, a binary variable. So the next step in building a uh, machine learning model is to define uh, your variables or your data for modeler. Create some kind of metadata. And you could do that with a type node. So we'll drag our type node onto the screen, connect it up to our data, and hit edit. So the first thing we have to define is, is the measurement of each variable. And uh, the variable can be continuous, categorical, flag, nominal, ordinal, or typeless. Uh, most of these variables are going to be either continuous or um, flag, which is another name for binary. So the premium was a dollar value, so that's going to be continuous. Tenure is in months, that's going to be in that's going to be continuous. Turn is a binary variable, so we'll make that a flag. Income is continuous. Age and years is continuous. Has children is a binary flag. Length of residence is con is continuous. Education is categorical, right? It was just, you know, college, no college, high school, that sort of thing. Homeowner is going to be a flag, a binary flag. College degree is going to be a binary flag, and good credit is going to be a binary flag. Uh, next, we have to give Modeler an idea of what these variables are, like mins and maxes, and how many missing values and things like that. And to do that, we just simply simply click read values. And Modeler will go in and read the first couple thousand rows and come up with min, max, you know, the values of the flag. In this case, it's one zero, but I mean, it could be one thousand zero or one two. Um, it's going to figure out what those values are um, for all the different variables. Then the third thing we need to define inside the type node is what is our predictor variable? What are our predictor variables and what is our predicted variable? Which variables are our predictors and which variable is our predictee? Um, in Modeler, the predictee or what you're trying to predict is called the target. So we're going to click on the churn variable and we're going to make this a target. That's what we're trying to predict. Everything else is just an input, right? So it's a potential variable that's going to have it going to have an impact on the target, in this case churn. So we want to use you know, their current premium, tenure, income, all of these things to make a good prediction of who is likely or who is going to churn based on this historical information. So once we've done those three things, we hit apply and hit OK. Then the next thing we want to do is uh, define or separate our data set into a testing and a validation uh, data set. 
And we do that with a um, partition node. So drag a partition node onto the screen, hit connect, and then do edit. Um, in this case, we're going to, uh, well, it's a training and a testing. So training, we're going to build the model on 50% of the data set. We're going to train our model on 50% of the data set. And then we're going to test it on the other 50%. And we could also add a third validation data set um, just by clicking on this right here. And these percentages can be anything you want. In this case, it's 50-50. Uh, it could be 80-20, 10-90-10, 10, whatever. Um, as long as they add up to 100. So in this case, we're just going to have two. We're going to split it in half. The first half, we're going to build our model on the. We're going to build our model on the first half, and it's randomly selected halves. By the way, um, just going to take randomly select 50% of the records, build the model, and then validate or test that model on the other 50%. So we'll click OK once we've defined these parameters. Then the next step is we're going to bring in a auto classifier node. And an auto classifier node is actually extremely powerful. Um, it automatically knows what we want to predict because we defined it here. The auto classifier node is going to go in and it only works when you have a binary or a categorical variable, right? And the problem is fundamentally classification. If the, the, the model is, if you're trying to predict a continuous variable like income or temperature or whatever, you would use the auto numeric node. But what the auto classifier node is, it, it goes through a series of 15 different models. It builds, it looks at your data and the definitions you've provided, and it builds 15 different models. And then it selects which of those models actually work the best. To get an idea of what models it's going to try on this data, we can go to the expert node and take a look. And it's, it's, it's things like logistic regression, which has been around forever, but it's also more modern al algorithms like random forest and gradient boosted tree, as well as neural nets. So it's gonna run through all 15 of these models and it's gonna bring back the model that works the best. So SPSS Modeler, you don't have to specify what model to use. It will actually, the tool will actually go in and look at every model that makes sense and select the one that works the best. So once I've gone in um, and showed you these, all you have to do is hit run. And now it's going to work through 15 different models and return the best one. Okay, so when the models are completed, you'll see the golden nugget. It will appear on your screen. So let's right click on the golden nugget and drill down. Um, so remember, we ask Modeler to evaluate uh, 15 different models and to determine which of those 15, mo 15 different models fit our data the best. And the results are on the screen. There were three algorithms that kind of rose to the top in terms of their, of their ability to predict uh, churn. Um, the first one, the most, the one that was most accurate was the gradient boosted tree. Um, the second was random forest or random trees. And then the third was a neural net. So let's just take a minute and step back and uh, walk through what we've just done. Because we've covered a whole lot of ground in a very short period of time. We started out with an insurance company's uh, data and they were trying to understand um, who is most likely to cancel their product um, given their history. So we defined that data inside of Modeler, telling Modeler which variables uh, were, would be used as predictors and which variable would be the target or the predicted variable. Then we split our data into a training set and a testing set. Then we pulled a, uh, a node onto the screen and told Modeler to evaluate 15 different algorithms and then return the three algorithms that work the best. So in a nutshell, in this short period of time, we did some really sophisticated, some very complex ma uh, machine learning, um, built, we built some very complex machine learning models or predictive models, but it wasn't hard to do. <clears throat> we did it in a few minutes with a few clicks. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for your time.